welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am beyond excited because we're talking about the brand new limited edition Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. This is the pink collection that she just came out with last week. I have been impatiently waiting the arrival of my package. It is here. I have all four shades. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch on the back of my hand, swatch on the lip, and show you guys how these products wear. But before we get started, please make sure to like and subscribe and also hit the notification bell on the side so you can know whenever I post a new video. If you are new here to my channel, I post a lot of luxury makeup reviews, tutorials. I love Chanel. Whenever I get a collection, I go through the same palette with like five or six different makeup tutorials to show you guys how to use the collection completely. So if you like those kinds of videos, I recommend you stick around. Now, normally when I do my videos, I always have my iced coffee with me, but since it's the middle of the afternoon, I've already drank my coffee, so I don't have my coffee with me and I feel very out of place, but I think I can still muster forward. So let's go ahead and talk about this release. So I'm gonna go ahead and read off some information from the Lisa Eldridge website on the side here. This is the new Summer Pinks collection. Again, this is limited edition. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it is also sold out at the moment. I'm not sure if they are planning on doing a restock of this collection at the moment. I know that they are restocking the True Velvets, the reds that she came out with in the fall. I picked up uh, Velvet Morning and Velvet Ribbon. I did reviews on those. I think that they're absolutely stunning. If you want either one of those, I highly recommend them. So there are four shades to choose from and there are two different textures. So all four lipsticks retail at 26 pounds and all four of these lipsticks are cruelty free. However, I believe only the luxuriously lucent are vegan. There is no um, information about the insanely saturated lipsticks being vegan, so I can only assume that it is not. Okay, let's go ahead and start swatching. Let's go from lightest to darkest. I think that'll be the easiest and the easiest on my lips. So the first one up is called Go Lightly. And again, this is part of the luxuriously lucent lip color. This is described as a light, vibrant, salmon pink, semi-sheer lipstick. In the bullet, the shade looks more like a vibrant coral, but the payoff on the lips leans more towards a true salmon pink with pastel undertones. Now, we can only assume that the name Go Lightly is a reference to Holly Go Lightly because we all know that Lisa loves Audrey Hepburn and also Audrey Hepburn especially in the 60s was known for those types of colors so anyway that's enough blabbing let's go ahead and test out go lightly so first thing that I noticed when I pull the lipstick out of the tube is that it looks like just a regular lipstick we know that with the true velvets Lisa had like a velvet finish on the side um, these luxuriously lucent lipsticks just look like a regular lipstick and we have the beautiful Lisa monogram with the little kiss and the little dot on the lip. It's beautiful. Let's test her out. So that's one swipe. I think this almost matches my shirt. This does seem to match my shirt quite well. The texture feels very buttery, very hydrating. Um, I don't know exactly what to compare it to, but I think it's along the same line as the Chanel Rouge Coco Flash or the Chantecaille Lip Veil. Vale. Like, you know those like very sheer lipsticks that are very hydrating? This feels along that vein of product. And I'm surprised because this, I feel like this looks a bit flashier on me than I thought. I was expecting it to be even more sheer, but the color is a bit more saturated than I expected, which is not a bad thing. This is definitely a beautiful summer look, especially if you have a tan, this is definitely a really nice color for that kind of look. On me, it's definitely pulling through a bit more pink. I think the cool undertone is coming through more. It's been on my lips for a minute now and I'm just waiting to see if it'll change or adapt to my lips pH a bit more, but I think this is just the color payoff for me. All right, let's move on to the next one, shall we? Now, next up in the luxuriously lucent collection, we have Love of My Life, and let's go ahead and read the description about this one. It says it's a medium, true, rosy pink 
semi sheer lipstick not too blue not too red it delivers a modern sheeny flush of pink to the lips with one swipe or build the color to create a more radiant polished look i am very curious what a medium true rosy pink that's not too warm tone not too cool tone is i'm very curious so let's go ahead and test these out So that's one. Okay, so that's one swipe. Let's go ahead and build up a little. I think the closest texture I can compare these two is the new Gucci lipsticks, the Lip Veil uh, formula. Not the satin ones, but um, I think it's the Lip Veil formula. These remind me sort of of this. This is a really pretty color. I think I understand what they mean with the true medium rosy pink. This is a gorgeous color. This is This looks like the foolproof lip color you can wear with any makeup look in a way and also because this is more of a satin finish you don't have to worry so much about being so precise you can just you know do this without a mirror and it'll still be okay i think this is the type of lip color that would live in your purse you know the lipstick that will go with any makeup look any clothing you can just swipe it on without having to look in a mirror if it goes over a little bit it's not that big of a deal because it's not super matte or dark it's very beautiful. It has the same texture and consistency as Go Lightly, and these have absolutely zero scent. Sometimes um, cosmetics say no scent, but they still have a cosmetics smell, if you know what I mean. These have no scent whatsoever, and yeah, it's a very beautiful color. I think I like this a bit more than Go Lightly. I think Go Lightly just comes off a bit too cool on me at the moment, but it's just like a different look, really. I think between Love of My Life and Go Lightly, I think I prefer Love of My Life. It's just more muted for every day. Go Lightly is very pretty, but I'm so warm toned that it kind of looks a bit too flashy. And I like flashy lipsticks, but I think I like them when they're a bit darker and more saturated. So yeah, they're both beautiful, but I think if you have to get one or the other, I would go with Love of My Life. All right, onward and upward. Now we are moving on to the two in the collection that I think I was the most excited about. So now we are moving on to the insanely saturated lip color. These are described as so pigmented and so creamy, a truly dreamy texture that glides on seamlessly and gives 100% full coverage with a demi matte finish and weightless feel. It can be daubed on as a light stain for a more subtle effect. I think out of the whole collection, I was the most excited about these two here. And one thing that's interesting is when you look really closely, you can see that there's some sort of texture on the side of these lipsticks. It's not quite the same texture as the True Velvets, which looks like actual velvet, but these just look like they have some sort of interesting texture to them, which I really appreciate because um, the lusciously lucent, lucent lipsticks just look like a normal um, satin creamy finish lipstick but these ones just have like a little bit extra touch as a luxury makeup lover I love when brands do something a little bit extra with their packaging so this is something that I notice and appreciate so let's go ahead and test out rainbow spill which I think is the one that I got the most excited about this is described as a bright red coral watermelon pink with a muted neon edge that sounds fantastic and it sounds like that would be a beautiful nail polish color as well Okay, so the, the shape of the lips is not correct, but as you can see, it's very pink. So this is neon. <laughs> this is very pink. This is very bright. I love 
bright bold lip colors like this I like them when they're more saturated and when they just have more pigment the go lightly shade is beautiful but it definitely looks more of a veil more sheer I love when it's this bold and look at how white my teeth look like this is fantastic <laughs> So as you saw, I did go in a couple of times just to make sure the color was even and also just to make sure that I got the correct shape of my lips. I didn't use a lip liner because honestly, on a day-to-day -day basis, I never use lip liner unless I am filling them in completely just to make the color last longer or if I'm doing a special look. But just for me personally, for every day, I'm not a fan of lip liner. But as you can see, you can still get the shape you want with just the lipstick. And on the off chance that Lisa Aldridge is actually watching this video, wouldn't it be amazing if you made a nail polish that matched this lip color? Wouldn't that be so fun? Just saying. Okay, I really, really love this one. I'm having a hard time letting go because I, I have one more to swatch, but as you can see, this one is beautiful. Last but not least, we have Skyscraper Rose. So this is an electric modern fuchsia pink. That all sounds fantastic. Let's test it out. So this is one swipe. As you can see, the shape is not perfect. Let's go ahead and correct that. This again is a lip color that makes your teeth look so white. I also really, really love this color. I love a bold fuchsia, bold berry color. This definitely stands out. It's very bright. It's a beautiful raspberry color. It makes your teeth look super white. And this would also be a very beautiful little blush to add as well. So these two lip colors that are more opaque and more pigmented do not feel as creamy or lip balm like as the first two, but I think that's to be expected with these different textures of lip products. That being said, they do feel really nice and I think these are described as a demi matte finish. They feel like somewhere between a satin finish and a matte because it does not look or feel like a matte but it also doesn't look or feel like a satin finish. So it's a perfect mix in between, which is a good mixture of longevity and also comfort. All in all, I am very happy that I got all four. When the other launch came out, I only picked up two out of three and I kind of regretted it, but I'm really glad that I got all four because I love Lisa Eldridge. I love what she does. I love her channel. I love her Instagram. I love her editorial looks. So I'm happy to support her. Um, one other thing to mention about these lipsticks is that they're all magnetized, so the lid will click on and off like that, which I love. It's that little extra added touch to luxury makeup that makes it worth the experience. So what else is there to say about this lipstick launch? Um, I also received this little makeup pouch here with the little Lisa monogram here on the side. It's that beautiful Tiffany blue. I believe you receive a pouch when you purchase two lipsticks. I'm not sure if it's any two of the ones available or if it has to be two from the pink collection, but I got this here. Now, I know that there were some shipping issues. I personally did encounter some. I am filming this video on Monday, July 8th. I received an email on Friday, July 5th from the delivery company telling me they were going to deliver my package by the end of day. The end of day came, there was no package and they were not working on the weekends. They weren't answering emails or phone calls on the weekends. Um, so I did reach out to Lisa Eldridge and she did respond directly and I was put in touch with someone on her team who was able to reassure me and we talked a little bit. Um, so I did receive my package today on Monday the 8th, which was technically within um, the timeline because I did pay extra for fast shipping and it was between two to four business days. So, so even though I had to wait those two days over the weekend, technically it didn't go over the four business days, which is kind of annoying. But anyway, I'm very, very happy to finally receive my package. I've been seeing a lot of people on Instagram today talking about their packages, so I'm really glad that I got mine. I really hope that those of you out there who have ordered yours get yours very shortly. 
it's unfortunate that there was so much kerfuffle also the day of the launch the day of the launch on was it tuesday i was one of those people refreshing the page and refreshing because i wanted to buy the items as quickly as i could and there was an issue with the website it finally came up it was finally ready to function basically like i think an, i think an hour after the release it was supposed to be but anyway it finally worked so I don't know, all of that to say, I can't imagine the kind of stress it must be to own your own business and to sell your products like that. So overall, I am very happy with my purchase. I'm glad that I picked up all four of these. Um, I think I am as, I think I am equal parts luxury makeup lover and luxury makeup collector, so this will just go in my collection of products. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Which one is your favorite color? Have you ordered your lipsticks? Are you waiting for yours to arrive? Let us know down in the comments. Feel free to say whatever you want. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the swatches and the demo. I hope those of you who are ordering online still can get an idea or a sense of what they look like in person. As always, feel free to like and subscribe and also hit the notification bell on the side so you can know whenever I post a new video. And on that note, I think that's all I have for you guys for today. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.